Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a pop-up window for your QList widget. So here let me give a quick demo on what we are doing in this exercise. So here I have a window. And inside this window is a list widget. Inside the list widget, I have four companies. Microsoft, Facebook, Google and Apple. If I double click on one of the company, a dialog window will pop up and it's going to display the company's name. So that's the feature we're going to implement in this exercise. Just something very simple. Here I'm going to insert my code template. And from the import statement, I'm going to import the system module. And from the Qt widgets module, I'm going to import a Q application class, QList widget, QList widget item, Q label and QDialog class. I'm going to uh, replace the QWidget class with QListWidget class as the parent class. And inside my app demo class, I'm going to set the font size to 40 pixel. And I'll use the set style sheet method to do that. The first thing we need is a list of items or companies. I'm going to create a list I'm going to name this list companies. I'm going to enter for company's name. So Microsoft, Facebook, Google, and Apple. Next, I'm going to add each company to my list widget. So I'm going to insert loop for company in companies. And here I can reference the list widget with the self reference dot add item. I'll pass the company uh, variable. Now if I launch the window, and here are four companies. And if I double click on any of the company, and nothing's going to happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another class. I'm going to name this class pop-up. I'm going to pass the QDialog class as the parent class. And this class is going to take two parameters. One parameter for the text to display. I'll name the parameter name. And the other parameter is to link the parent. And we need to do that for the super uh, statement. And here we can set the default size of our dialog window. And let's set the default size to 600 by 300. And we're going to uh, create a self dot label object, and it's going to be a, a Q label object. And we'll pass the name argument and self argument. And this pop up class will be our uh, dialog that we'll be using to launch the second window. Now let's go back to the app demo class. And within the app demo class, I'm going to create a method called a uh, launch pop-up and we're going to insert a parameter called item inside the launch pop-up method I'm going to create an instance of the pop-up class so I'll name the instance uh, pop is equals to pop-up and I'll insert the item argument dot text to display the text followed by the uh, parent object. And here we need to show the uh, dialog window. And the last thing we need to do is we need to connect the launch pop-up method to a, uh, to a signal. Here I'm going to connect the method to item double click signal dot connect. And I'll pass the launch pop-up method and that's it. Now if I launch the window, if I choose a company, and if I double click on Facebook, and that's going to launch a dialog window with Facebook display. And same with uh, Google and Apple. So we can uh, launch multiple windows using this method. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.